We have been following this breaking news all morning long. It is causing a major traffic backup in Bell. All but one lane on the northbound 710 freeway near Bandini Boulevard are shut down right now. This is after a street sweeper truck burst into flames. Well, crews are still working to clean up that big mess and seeing shots from Sky 2. It's, it's pretty bad, the traffic. It's bad. It's creating just an absolute nightmare oh, for yeah. drivers. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom joins us live from the scene. Cara, how is the cleanup going? And we can see that traffic behind you looks terrible. Yeah, they did get it off the freeway, which is why we've moved to an overpass, but we want to get started with the traffic. This is going to affect a lot of commutes, giving you a live look from overhead here uh, on an overpass. Just one lane is open along a stretch of the 710 northbound right before the Bandini and Atlantic exit. So the result uh, of this potentially explosive situation this morning is that it is really caused miles and miles of backup. I want to give you a look at the uh, scene from above. This is from Sky 2. Now, the good news, again, Caltrans has cleared the actual mess, uh, and they are hoping to get this fully reopened soon, but they were in the process as we moved off of putting some absorbent materials on the freeway to make sure everything was safe. All right, let's get right to what we saw when we pulled up. Flames shooting up from a burning street sweeper. We actually spotted those flames about a half mile away, and when we were arriving, we could hear some loud pops. Sheriff deputies immediately told us they had evacuated everyone in nearby cars because the situation was unstable. Natural gas can be explosive, and that is what fuels the sweeper. We were getting ready to leave ourselves when folks were told they could return to their cars. The south side reopened, so first responders felt they had stabilized the situation. Now, as far as what led to this, at about 11.48, there was a traffic collision on the 710. That sweeper responded to help clean it up, and somehow it itself caught fire. All right, I want to give you a live look again at the freeway here where we are. Again, you can see this really stretches back. We have been checking in, Marcy Chris, to try and find out about what happened with that driver. Uh, we don't believe he suffered any serious injuries because the fire department reported there were none. Uh, they did take one person, though, with some minor injuries to be checked out. So if, as we learn more about that driver, we'll pass that information along. But again, the good news, no serious injuries resulting from all of this. Just a lot of backup. So if you can avoid this area this morning, do it.